Want to make your animations pop with subsurface scattering? Now can be as simple as this. Stay tuned. What's up Survivalists, it's Shay from Team WJ here to show you a simple feature that you can use to take your Minecraft animations to the next level. Subsurface Scattering, or SSS. Make sure you watch the entire video, there's something secret at the end that you don't want to miss. Hey, do you see that? Yeah, that's a playlist designed to help you create Minecraft animations from the ground up. Make sure you check that out afterwards if you want to give an extra edge to your animation. Alright, let's get started. Putting in SSS that looks like this is really easy, but it's wrong. SSS is when light passes through a voluminous translucent object like your hand. Metal is not translucent. Let's do SSS correctly. To do that, we need a mask. Fortunately, if you have the free FMR animate rig, link right up there and down in the description below, you already have the SSS mask I built, fully ready to be used and customized by you. Okay, here we go. Fire up Cinema 4D and go into the content browser over here. Now scroll down and find your rig. Open up the text folder and open up base-sss.png. Now that it's opened, right click and hit save as. Hit enter and save this as a PNG somewhere. Great, now fire up your image editing software. I'll be using Photoshop. After you import the base file in, you can also drag in your skin. Now you notice that your skin is real small compared to the base. That's fine. Right click on the layer of your skin and rasterize. Then click Ctrl T on your keyboard for transform and make the skin fit. Make sure interpolation up the top is at nearest neighbor. Perfect. Now here's how masks work. White is visible, black is invisible. Remember that, I'll test you. Alright, listen up closely, because this is an opportunity for you to learn all my secret tips personally from me. Take five seconds to watch this. Awesome. That's part of a three minute documentary on Levislear, my Minecraft animated web series. If you'd like to learn more or support us, you can find our Patreon linked right here or in the description down below. Patreon is a service that allows audiences like you to support creators like us by allowing you to set an amount that will be donated to us every month. You get cool rewards from viewing new episodes of Levisly early to being able to join our live Discord and work with us together. Everyone can support us, even if you don't have the fullest wallet. Make sure you share our Patreon if you want to play a part in the development of Levisly. Cool, cool. So what about mask again? Did you remember? White is visible, black is invisible. What that means is that the white parts will have SSS and the black parts won't. Simple. So let's do that for our mask. Press M on your keyboard to bring up the select tool and select all the skin you want to have SSS. Do not include hair or cloth. Now press G on your keyboard and select black as your color. Create a new layer, hit Ctrl Shift I and paint on it. Now disable your original skin layer and you're done. Export this as a PNG and that's all you need to do in Photoshop. Now back to Cinema 4D, click on your rig and scroll down to you see the SSS settings. Click on these three dots here and select a new mask, enable SSS, and change the color till it fits. Hey, help me choose my next video. Would you rather see problem solving for the FMR rig, or staging composition, part of the 12 principles of animation? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget about that secret at the end. I make videos and tutorials every Monday to help you improve your Minecraft animations, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Cheers!